let you pick either. Let's go yeah, we'll AI. Do, let's do or let's failures. Do... Cause there's All right, let's do that. for business people. Like, so when we set up our, I mean, this is the biggest failure we had and why it took so long to make things uh, click. Um, so when we started copy press and the blue glass stuff was done, uh, we had a ton of, we started having cash flow problems almost immediately, right? I didn't have enough cash to kind of keep things going while we were building. But since my, uh, my investors were actually from Europe, um, they're not U.S. citizens. So on my cap table, right, I don't have enough U.S. ownership to get traditional bank lines of credit, things like this. So uh, we started taking out um, these merchant credit uh, account loans. I don't know if you know what those are, but they basically give you a loan based on your credit card receivables, right? So like, let's say, uh, you know, we're doing 200,000 a month in credit card charges. They'll be like, all right, you know, we'll give you a six month loan, right? So this is the way they structure it, like a six month loan for a hundred grand. Um, give that all to you now, but you're going to start making daily payments as soon as we give you the money for like, you know, a thousand dollars. And by the time you've repaid it, it's like, Two hundred thousand dollars repaid wow. on the hundred thousand. That's like completely predatory loans, right? Like it's a payday loan for businesses, um, and I mean they'll just keep re-upping you till you're out of business. That's a um, ridiculous return on on money. It, it's wild. I mean, it's I mean it's a it's a crazy situation, and um, having survived. So I did this for like five years, where I had like wow. four of these at a time, like revolving, revolving. Anyone listening to this podcast right now, if you're facing like an issue where, well, this could be a do not, I mean, I don't know how we survived and I can't imagine how many businesses are put out of business by those loans. Um, it, and I'm concerned now with the way that the, um, the interest rates are raising, like these become more of a viable option for Makes people. Sense. It's not like, I think at the end of the day, cause you also have to personally guarantee these lines, right? Wow. It'd be better to just let your business go bankrupt and restructure your debt. Than yeah. I didn't know you had to personally promise. guarantee them. That's yeah, I had like personal level. guaranteed of like four of these things, like 400 grand, like running constantly building up, paying interest on interest. Right. Um, very painful. So, you know, it, Again, I think what I was really bad in the beginning was cash forecasting, you know, uh, mm. figuring out, yeah, building long-term plans on how to scale appropriately and then financing that scale appropriately. All things that we have totally figured out now, um, but we went through, a, I mean, just so much pain. Um, but but that, that's the biggest like ongoing failure. When I look back, it was definitely the cash management and getting wrapped up in that loan kind mm. of like. You know, just hoping that, all right, let's keep growing to get rid of these. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's something for people to keep out because I don't think a lot of people even know that those lines exist. And then somebody hits you up and they're like, because what happened, what I've been seeing actually a lot of is like uh, anybody who took PPP money, hmm. their names got pushed to a bunch of those guys and they're coming through now like, hey, do you, you're you're done with your PPP money. Like, do you want another, they'll call it like line of credit, like different words that you're like, oh, yeah, totally. And then all of a sudden you're paying through the nose. Wow. Yeah. I, I had no idea that that was going on, but maybe I shouldn't say it, but I, it doesn't surprise me in some ways, but I'm curious, like how, how did you get out from under it? Like what, and how do you prevent it from happening now? Yeah. I mean, we just had to like keep, so get out, getting out from under, it's a matter of just like cutting expenses enough and growing revenue, like getting profitable. Right. Mm -hmm step one which um people will be like yeah of course but it's not it's not that easy in a business yeah. just be like all right we're profitable so get profitable start paying the loans down it took us three years and like that being it's boring right like that's your whole life is just paying loans and getting that rid is, of yeah. them um, but that's what that's what it took right and so um now how we stay away from it is solid cash management I actually built software right we run our books through quickbooks which is an accrual method but that doesn't help me spot cash flow issues especially the way our business is structured so i built my own software to be able to forecast like a year out and know how much cash flow regardless of scenarios like as a bare minimum here's how much cash flow you need and so you just constantly keep that cash float there and what's interesting here right, it's like money begets money um like once we didn't have those issues anymore now i have lines of credit and stuff that i can utilize too right uh it, i mean it's a frustrating system that we work in where it's like 
when you don't have anything, you can't get resources, you fight your way through. And all of a sudden you have stuff. It's like, Hey, here's some resources. It's like, yeah. where were these like 10 years ago? Mm -hmm. That reminds me of, of us when my wife and I were first getting started, we were trying to make some investments and I think we went out to try and get like a ten thousand uh, dollar business loan. We had a plan, everything. We got turned down by like four banks, and then the last bank, the only reason they gave us a loan was because my dad co-signed. Otherwise, they weren't going to do it. And then we paid it back within maybe four or five months. But then now it's like, oh yeah, well, how much money do you need? I'm like, I mean, I guess it makes sense, but still, it's just it's a frustrating. System. Yeah, I mean. 